Hello. Yellowstone enthusiasts. Picture this, a vast Montana landscape. Rugged and timeless. Where family. Power. And loyalty intertwine in the harsh world of the Dutton family. Yellowstone has always been more than just a show, it's an experience. Drawing viewers into the complex lives of the Duttons. Their allies. And their enemies. But this season brings us to a critical and shocking point as the formidable patriarch. John Dutton. Played by Kevin Costner. Meets an untimely and controversial end. For fans. This isn't just another season, it's a heart-wrenching departure from the story as we know it. In this deep dive. We'll walk through the aftermath of John's exit. The emotional upheaval on set. Costner's surprising response to his character's end. And what lies ahead for the series and the Dutton legacy. Here's everything you've been yearning to understand about the Yellowstone saga and the seismic shifts it's undergone this season. 1. The shocking death of John Dutton, a turning point. In Episode 9. Titled Desire is All You Need. Fans were blindsided as John Dutton. The steadfast heart of the Dutton family. Was killed. While fans grappled with disbelief. This decision wasn't a haphazard plot twist, it was a deliberate narrative choice by show creator Taylor Sheridan. Marking a new direction for the series. Director Christina Alexandra Barro spoke in depth about the intensity and purpose behind depicting John's death. The decision wasn't about glorifying violence or the shock factor but about exploring the fallout, the grief, the uncertainty, and the raw emotions of the Dutton family left behind. Barros explained that the true emotional punch doesn't come from showing the gory details of John's death, instead, it comes from focusing on how the family, particularly Beth, reacts to it. In a chilling scene, Beth's primal scream resonates as she confronts her father's lifeless body. According to Voros, this moment highlights Beth's vulnerability and the deep, unyielding bond she shared with her father. Beth's scream serves as a haunting reflection of her pain, a pain fans can't help but feel alongside her. The decision to kill John early in the season was a bold narrative shift. Rather than dragging out his departure, Sheridan chose to rip the band-aid off, thrusting viewers and characters alike into a new and unpredictable chapter. This choice allowed the story to pivot away from John's commanding presence and open up space for the other Duttons to grow, grieve, and confront their personal demons without his shadow. As Voros pointed out, seeing Beth, Case, and the others adjust to life without John forces viewers to confront the harsh realities of loss and resilience. 2. The emotional weight on set, cast and crew dynamics. The hiatus between the first and second halves of season 5 gave the cast and crew time to process Kevin Costner's departure. Yet the return to set was filled with mixed emotions. On the one hand, the team felt relieved to be back together in Montana. But on the other, there was an unmistakable emptiness. Cole Hauser, who portrays the loyal and gritty Rip Wheeler, shared that fans and even cast members had their theories about how the show would conclude. But none were close to the truth. This sense of mystery, combined with the absence of Costner, created a charged atmosphere that pushed each actor to dig deeper into their roles. Kelly Riley, who plays Beth Dutton, faced some of the heaviest emotional demands of her career. Her scenes required an unparalleled level of raw vulnerability. And Voros worked closely with Riley to create a safe space on set for these intense moments. The production team meticulously planned each scene's details, from the lighting to the silence on set, to allow Riley to deliver a performance that felt genuine and unfiltered. These efforts were a testament to the crew's commitment to handling John's death with the gravity it deserved. Every moment was calculated to maximize the emotional depth of Beth's response, providing fans with a profoundly human portrayal of grief. 3. Kevin Costner's Complex Exit, Timing, Contracts, and Unresolved Questions the decision for John Dutton's death was inextricably linked to Kevin Costner's complicated departure from the series. Costner's contract obligations with his film project, Horizon, an American saga, created unavoidable scheduling conflicts. Though some rumors suggested that Costner had grown disinterested in Yellowstone, he clarified on Sirius XM's The Michael Smarkanish program that it was a logistical decision rather than a lack of enthusiasm. Costner even admitted that he hadn't tuned in to his character's final episode confessing that he was unaware it had aired. The circumstances surrounding John Dutton's exit sparked further speculation, with some fans wondering if his character's apparent suicide might be a ruse. Costner himself commented that the show's creative team are smart people, hinting that there might be more to the story than meets the eye. For Luke Grimes, who plays Case Dutton, 
The suddenness of Costner's departure left the cast blindsided. Grimes described feeling disappointed by the abrupt nature of John's farewell, suggesting that a more planned send-off could have provided both the cast and fans with closure. But in true Yellowstone fashion, the unpredictability of John's exit aligns with the gritty, unpolished tone that has defined the series from the start. 4. Of the future of the Yellowstone legacy, spin-offs and new horizons. With Yellowstone hurtling toward its grand finale, fans may feel a void left by John's absence. But the show's universe isn't fading into the sunset just yet. The upcoming spin-off, The Madison, promises to explore new stories within the same rugged Montana landscape. Director Christina Alexandra Barros assures fans that while The Madison shares some of Yellowstone's iconic settings, it will approach the themes of legacy and survival from a different perspective. Barros likens The Madison to a different facet of a polished gemstone, suggesting that this series will broaden the Yellowstone narrative while retaining its signature depth and intensity. Yellowstone has always been about more than just one man's story, it's about family, land, and the inescapable forces that bind people to both. The final episodes will test the Dutton family in ways fans haven't seen before, pushing each character to the edge as they navigate life without John's leadership. For Rip, Beth, Case, and others, this season is about rediscovering their place within the Dutton legacy, forging their own identities in a world that John's death has irrevocably altered. A farewell to John Dutton. But not the end of Yellowstone. Kevin Costner's portrayal of John Dutton transformed Yellowstone into a cultural phenomenon. While his departure may have closed one chapter, it has opened countless others, allowing the remaining Duttons and the fans who love them to experience new depths of storytelling. John's exit has paved the way for Yellowstone to explore vulnerability, resilience, and the brutal truth of legacy. As Cole Hauser hinted, the surprises are far from over. And Yellowstone's unique blend of raw emotions and epic storytelling continues to redefine what fans can expect from a TV drama. As the final episodes roll out, fans are left to ponder the same question that haunts the Dutton family, what will the future hold for the Yellowstone Ranch? And how will this legendary family story be remembered? Stay tuned. Because Yellowstone is nowhere near finished. It's a story with roots too deep and a legacy too powerful to end with one man's death. The Ranch the land. And the Dutton name will endure. Echoing through Montana's vast landscapes long after the final credits roll.